what you are seeing is actual footage of a tragic incident that could have been avoided. In 2004, a stray mortar landed in some dry grass near a major military base outside Kirkuk in northern Iraq. The explosion ignited the dry grass and started a fire in the field that spread quickly to the nearby bomb dump. The intense heat of that fire began setting off munitions, and as you can see, the results were catastrophic for U.S. forces there in Kirkuk. That isn't the first time a large-scale explosion has resulted from negligent safety practices either. According to the San Antonio Express News, back in 1963, a massive explosion shook the city of San Antonio, Texas, breaking windows up to 30 miles away. Official accounts indicate that 123,000 pounds of explosives accidentally detonated at a fortified bunker on Medina Base due to a fire that had broken out. The resulting explosion left a crater that was 25 feet deep and 60 feet in diameter. Weapons safety is a necessary component in order to mitigate or even eliminate events like these. A weapons safety manager's main purpose is to advise the commander on munitions risk reduction and asset preservation. If the WSM's guidance had been followed, these unfortunate events may have been avoided. So what does the weapons safety program look like at your wing?